हाई स्टूडेंट्स अगेन वेलकम यू फॉर द सेकेंड लेक्चर इन द बेसिक कोर्स ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स एंड स्टैटिस्टिक्स इन द फर्स्ट लेक्चर आई डिस्कस अबाउट द फंक्शंस एंड टाइप्स ऑफ फंक्शंस एज यू नो फंक्शन इज नथिंग बट सम फॉर्मूला और रूल बिटवीन द डिपेंडेंट एंड इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल्स इफ वाई इज डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल एंड एक्स इज इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल देन इन मैथमेटिक्स वी डिफाइन वाई इज इक्व स्टेप ऑफ एक्स इज ए फंक्शन ऑफ एक्स now we see some functions in economics as you are the students of commerce and economics uh, where we see uh, mathematics functions in economics mainly as you are uh, familiar with the supply and demand which is one of the fundamental concept of economics and it is a backbone of market economy so first i define the demand function in economics let p be the price of goods and d is its demand in the market then the word demand function means we should expect that demand d is a function of price p and we write it as d is equals to f of p where d is the demand p is the price and f is the first letter of the word function this is the mathematical convention but in actual economics since days of marshall price p is considered as function of demand d and still called demand function and we write it as p is equals to g of d where p is the price d is the demand and g is the notation for the function as i told in the last lecture that functions are denoted by f g h either small letters or capital letters also so here the demand function means p is equals to g of d in actual economics similarly we can see uh, some examples if p is the price d is the demand p is equals to 3 plus 5d here 3 is constant 5 is also constant d is the demand and p is the price p depends on demand d so p is dependent variable and demand d is independent variable and we say this is demand function similarly we write the example p is equals to 7d plus d square are also demand functions uh, where uh, 7 is the constant 1 is also constant d is the demand and p is the price so the first function from economics is the demand function the second function from the economics is the supply function if p is the price of goods and s is the supply in the market then we define supply function the word supply function means we should expect that supply s is a function of price p and written as s is equals to f of p where s is the supply p is the price and f is the first letter of the word function this is the mathematical convention but in actual economics since from the days of marshall price p is considered as function of supply s and still called supply function and we write it as p is equals to g of s where p is the price s is the supply and g is the notation for the function now we can see the examples of the supply function p is equals to 3 plus 2s where p is the price 3 and 2 are the constants and s is the supply another example p is equals to 4s plus s square this is also a supply function where 4 is the constant p is the price and s is the supply so the second type of functions in economics is the supply function in economics p is g of s is called a supply function now the third function from economics is the total revenue function total revenue uh, due to sale that total revenue function uh, you know that it is denoted by r alpha bit r total revenue is defined as product of price and demand or demand quantity so total revenue function is price into demand so if total revenue function is denoted by r price is p and demand is d then total revenue function is defined as r is equals to p into d where p is the price and d is the 
demand here we can see one example of the demand function the demand function for the commodity is given by p is equals to 18 plus d minus d square find the total revenue function and also find the total revenue when demand is 2 units when d is equals to 2 as i discuss uh, what is total revenue function so total revenue function is denoted by r here the demand function is given as p is equals to 18 plus d minus d square and putting in the formula of demand function uh, sorry total revenue function we get r is equals to p into d we put p as 18 plus d minus d square so we get total revenue function r as 18 into d 18d plus d square minus d cube so total revenue function is r is equals to 18d plus d square minus d cube so for this example for this commodity we can find the total revenue function r by using the above formula now Uh, we find total revenue function when its demand is 2 units means in the above example we can put d is equals to 2 so total revenue function r is given as 18d plus d square minus d cube in that formula now we put d is equals to 2 that is 18 into 2 plus 2 square minus 2 cube so 18 into 36 plus 2 square is 4 Minus 2 cube is 8. So calculating this, we'll get 40 minus 8 is 32. So total revenue function R is 32 when the demand is 2 units. So this is the example of total revenue function and how we'll calculate the total revenue function when the demand of it is given. Similarly, we can try for the another demand function if instead of uh, the demand function 18 plus uh, d plus d square suppose another demand function is given then we can find out similar way we can find the total revenue function and we can find the total revenue function if the demand is given for 2 units 3 units 4 units etc thank you so much